Hey, hi, hello! I have been in craft store again and thought you might be interested in what I've purchased this time. The store is called Teddy and is more of a dollar store here in Germany than a specialized art or craft store. So the first thing I got were these plastic containers. They are perfect to store tiny glitter stuff in and to stay organized with them. And because they are see-through, you always know if you want to use them without having to take off the lid. This is glittery crafting fabric. It has the material characteristics of leatherette, but it is completely covered in glitter. I thought I might create some doll shoes out of it or tiny doll handbags. I imagine that you could also use this for some backgrounds of fancy invitation cards. I have a love for pretty designs, colors and patterns, so I couldn't leave this washi tape behind. I just thought it is really inspiring and dreamy looking. I'm collecting stickers a little bit, so I also thought that the size of this washi tape was also very different from what I'm used to see in washi tapes, so I bought these for collection purposes. Well, I'm not yet planning to use them very soon in the future, I guess. This set of the typical sized washi tapes I'm actually planning to use for some paintings to get some crisp lines for the edges. I hope they will stick properly to the paper though. If not, I'm sure I'll find another purpose for it. For these fabrics I have a concrete plan. I want to use them as a coverage for a book that I'm planning to bind. I think I want to make a video out of this process as well. The next things I bought were three packages of potpourri. These are dried out leaves that have been colored and also perfumed. They are typically used as sprinkle decoration to make your room smell nice, but I imagine that they can be used in some crafts as well, because they also have very vibrant colors and an interesting form. The next things I bought were some natural imitating stuff. This sisal grass that you normally use for Easter decoration could also be used in some landscape crafting, I suppose. I have no idea what this grey stuff is in there, but it seems to be removable. Uh, yeah. The coconut fiber and this decoration wood grass can also be used for crafting some natural stuff. Actually, I have already found a use for the wood grass. In my last video I made a teeny tiny bird's nest out of it. Then I bought this candle that I thought is very pretty. If it is burnt down I think I could use the leftover glass for a craft project as well since it has a nice shape. Um, the next three things were these decorative borders. I can imagine to use them for several craft projects. For example to create tiny doll clothes or as decoration on some gift cards. You can always need foam rubber. For example to lift some cuttings up on a card or to make some colored underground protection to glue under your craft creation so you don't scratch your table by pushing it around. Um, this is some cardboard that is covered in glitter. I wanted to have an alternative to the glitter fabric. For some surfaces the cardboard might be the better choice than the fabric. A 
another alternative is this glittery foam rubber. Depending on which surface I'm going to use it on, I choose one of these opportunities. These are just some felt sheets. You can use felt for so many things. I use them for some figurines as body parts or for some sewing projects. You could also use them for needle felting or as an underground for a crafted landscape. I really like the texture of this crochet yarn. I will not just use this for crocheting though. I think this yarn can be used for so much different stuff than just this. But yeah, I also want to crochet something in a future video. This white fuzzy yarn was not that cheap unfortunately, but I hope it is worth it. This white and pink yarn reminds me of cotton candy. I think these tiny wood slices in different sizes can also be used in several craft projects and at least for painting on them. This is just some double sided tape on a roll, nothing special. <laughs> the next thing is this foil glitter. I have already used this in my last video as well. I covered a wired tree in this glitter to make it appear as if it is a cherry tree that is full in blossom. I have also found these tiny crafting bottles. They look so cute. I could make charms out of them or just miniature decorations with clay. For these ribbons, I have no specific idea yet. I am afraid that the shimmery colors have influenced me to buy this and not the urge to really want to use these. But maybe I find a purpose for them nevertheless. Ah yeah, I can never have enough storage boxes. <laughs> so here are some more of them. I fill these tiny boxes with these type of sprinkle decorations. And I have already used these in my last video as well. You should watch it, it is even a little bit funny. I personally think that you can always use some wooden letters everywhere. I also like the tiny wooden box they come in. It is like a canvas or a picture frame that I can use for a craft as well. Here we have some twines in different earthy colors. You always need twines, I think. And of course, I bought some beads. These are pretty tiny and they come in different pastel color combinations. I think they are pretty to make some flowers out of them or to use single ones as a nose for an animal, for example. I bought this glitter to mix it in some resin to get a top coat on an already colored underground to get a sparkly accent to the craft. For example, you could mix this glitter into the resin and pour it over a crafted pond to make it appear like it is illuminated by the sun. And yeah, here are some more sprinkle decorations in some more different shapes and colors. I think these mini dolls are so adorable. They are such a simple but very cute craft. I think they are perfect to glue them on top of a birthday present or to use them even as an ornament for a Christmas tree or an Easter bush. Therefore you just need to glue a hat or some bunny ears to their hats and then your decoration is done. And even if you don't like them anymore, you could take them apart and use their limbs and hats for other crafts. 
And here we have some stickers again. I thought maybe I can put some other pictures inside the frames or put even a mirror tape inside to create an old mirror for a dollhouse. Or I glue a tiny handle on them to create a fancy hand mirror for a doll. This sticker sheet reminded me of the Mariah Elizabeth aesthetic. These pastel colored dessert creatures could easily be some of Mariah's squishies, especially the stacked ice cream kitties on a cone. I also couldn't pass on these stickers. I love the colors and the simple light-hearted art style. I love the colors on these stickers as well. Pastel color gradients on planets, stars and moons, yes please. <laughs> and yeah, snacks and cookies with faces. And squiggly mouth. How could I not? Here we have all of them together again. So yeah, this is all I got for this haul. I hope you liked what you've seen and that some of the stuff I got inspires you to make a craft on your own. That's it for this video. Till the next one. Bye!